We've waited a long time for spring weather, but the polar vortex may actually have an upside, says allergy specialist Dr. Karen Binkley. This is one of the most severe winters we've had in about 20 years, and currently they're calling for a cooler than average spring. So I suspect that this year, the tree pollen may start a little bit later than usual. That means moving from early April to late April. If the cool spring continues, other pollen seasons may also start later and be shorter, which is good news. Grass pollen normally starts in mid-May and ragweed normally starts in mid-August. Dr. Binkley says a good predictor of when your allergy season is about to kick in can be found in your neighborhood gardens. When they see the little fuzzy things coming down for the trees, then they know the pollen is starting and then they need to start to uh, keep their doors and windows closed and maybe start on their treatment regime. And when it comes to treatment, it works best when started about two weeks before symptoms appear. Symptoms like itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, sneezing and congestion. So anticipating a slightly cooler than Average spring, I might suggest starting uh, nasal sprays in around mid-April. Prescription nasal sprays and eye drops are an option if over-the-counter antihistamines don't work well for you. Allergy injections can be very effective, but need to be started months before your allergy season begins. There is also a new option, a prescription pill that is placed under the tongue for grass pollen allergies. Talk to your doctor to determine which option is best for you. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.